The grades of 25 math students are listed here. You can check out the previous video on how to construct a frequency distribution table. We're going to construct a frequency histogram. To construct a frequency histogram, draw a graph, classes will be labeled on the x-axis, and frequencies will be labeled on the y-axis. Use five ticks on the x-axis to mark the five classes. And since the lowest frequency is 2 and the highest frequency is 10, using 10 ticks on the y-axis going from 1 to 10 will be enough to mark all the frequencies. For the first class F, the frequency is 2. So draw a rectangle with a height of 2 on top of F. Notice how the tick F is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. For the second class D, the frequency is 3. So draw a rectangle with a height of 3 on top of D. Notice how the tick D is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. And there is no gap between the two rectangles. For the third class C, the frequency is 6. So draw a rectangle with a height of 6 on top of C. Notice how the tick C is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. And there's no gap between any rectangle. A quick glance at the frequency histogram will show us the shape of the data distribution. In this case, Notice how the data is skewed to the left. 28 orders were made and the number of burgers sold per order are listed here. Let's construct a frequency histogram. Again, to construct a frequency histogram, draw a graph, classes will be labeled on the x-axis, and frequencies will be labeled on the y-axis. Use 7 ticks on the x-axis to mark the 7 classes. And since the lowest frequency is 1 and the highest frequency is 7, using 7 ticks on the y-axis going from 1 to 7 will be enough to mark all the frequencies. For the first class 2, the frequency is 3. So draw a rectangle with a height of 3 on top of the class 2. Notice how the tick on the class 2 is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. For the second class 3, the frequency is 5. So draw a rectangle with a height of 5 on top of the class 3. Notice how the tick on the class 3 is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. And there is no gap between the two rectangles. For the third class 4, the frequency is 6. So draw a rectangle with a height of 6 on top of the class 4. Notice how the tick on the class 4 is in the middle of each side of the rectangle. And there is no gap between any rectangle. A quick glance at the frequency histogram will show us the shape of the data distribution. In this case, notice how the data is almost symmetrical. 